This example carries on from the calculations we did in the lecture on the pH at various points in the titration of a weak acid with a strong base. We did a number of these calculations and then we gave the result for this particular calculation. Now let's explore how that result was obtained. We're looking at the titration of acetic acid with sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide being a strong base is delivering hydroxide ion and this reaction goes to completion. So why isn't this just neutral? Well, the reason is because this is a weak base. The conjugate base of a weak acid is a weak base. And acetate iron in water will be in equilibrium with acetic acid and hydroxide ion. And we can write a Kb for that expression. Remember, we will leave H2O out of any of these equilibrium expressions. Now, we worked out in lecture the relationship between the Ka for a weak acid and the Kb for its conjugate base. Their product is Kw. So this Kb in numerical value is Kw over Ka for acetic acid equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. And that equals 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. Yes, it's a very weak weak base with a Kb above the order of 10 to the negative 10. Nevertheless, it is noticeably basic. Now, what do we have as a solution at the equivalence point of this titration? We have 50.0 mL of acetic acid, which at the equivalence point we'll have added to it 50.0 mL of hydroxide ion because these are the same concentration. So we have a total of 100.0 mL of solution containing And it will have, therefore, 0.125 molar sodium acetate. The molarity has been exactly halved since the solution has been diluted exactly twice. So we can now set up our equilibrium expression following from this line. Let's go down and put in the amounts. At equilibrium, 0 0.125 minus x, x and x of acetic acid and hydroxide ion. So, 
x squared over 0 0.125 minus x equals kb equals 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. If x is very much less than 0 0.125, we can simplify and eliminate the problem of solving the quadratic once again. x squared is then equal to 0 0.125 times 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10, which gives us x equal to 8.3 times 10 to the negative 6. Well, that surely checks. Ten to the negative six, ten to the negative one, way below one percent, let alone five percent. Well, X equals the hydroxide ion concentration. The hydroxide ion concentration is eight point three times ten to the negative six. POH is therefore five point zero. 8, and the pH equals 14.00 minus 5.08 equals 8.92, noticeably basic. Now, the second part of the question says choose an appropriate indicator for this titration. If you look at a chart of indicators, you will see that, in particular, phenolphthalein is an indicator that undergoes a color change from colorless in acidic solution to red just around a pH of 8.5. This would be a perfect indicator for this titration. There are others, but in practice, phenolphthalein turns out to be an excellent indicator for this titration.